guys, welcome back to Turner's Turn Up. In today's video, we're gonna share some moments from our sailing on the beautiful Allure of the Seas. This will be our first Oasis class cruise and needless to say, it lived up to everything that we had heard about it and more. But before we get started, I wanna take this time to ask you guys to please hit that subscribe button Turn on that notification bell and don't forget to like the video. Boarding time was scheduled for I think about 12 30 or 1 o'clock I'm not sure because we actually bought a dining package for Giovanni's table it was one of the restaurants we wanted to try and we had heard so many good things about it and the only scheduled uh, time that there was available was 1 o'clock on day one so needless to say we thought that we were going to reschedule but we decided not to uh we was hungry and the ship is so big we did not feel like at that time finding the buffet and everything so we decided to go straight to giovanni's table and it is located on deck eight which is where central park is located and uh, as you can see here, we was blown away. It's like the minute you walk through those doors, you are transported. You really have no idea. It just doesn't feel like you're on a cruise ship at all. And this is only one of the boardwalk or outdoor, indoor type sections of the ship. This is the Central Park location. Later in the video or later in the series, you will see the boardwalk area, which is similar to the Central Park location, but it's not so much. However, this turned out to be my favorite part of the cruise ship. For the ice cream, we have no ice cream. No ice cream. This two is uh, the most famous in this restaurant. Uh, tiramisu and Hajjan Chapati. Let's go with it. Okay. Tiramisu. Charcuterie board, however, they don't, you know, advertise it as charcuterie. What they said, meat and cheese. Somebody. Like <laughs> okay, meat and cheese. So far, everything is delicious. Nick got a caprese salad. I think you got a new fave over there. You just go with something. Because you haven't stopped yet. I'm just opening my palate up. <laughs> Okay, so for dinner, I got Branzino, and it looks beautiful. And a side of risotto. And Nicholas got, what did you get? Filet mignon <laughs> with some mashed potatoes. Look at the mashed potatoes. Hi, 
Nice design mashed potatoes. They were, they were tight. With the broccoli. Okay. And my Coca Cola. Okay. We had lunch we uh, went in and checked into our cabin and I will link my video to the, this particular cabin which had a balcony overlooking Central Park I do have a separate video for our cabin review so you guys go and check that out for me however once we rested up a bit we started to tour the ship and became more acquainted with the ship and right there you guys that's what you see that is the bar that floats from uh, floor eight to back down to floor five it is really interesting we wanted to try it but we were doing so many other things during our cruise that we actually did not get a chance to uh, try the floating bar but it was a really cool sight
after an afternoon of touring, uh, we decided to go into the Windjammer Marketplace. Now, I received a lot of feedback on my last video that I do not focus on the buffets enough. Uh, I do want to say a lot of times, guys, when we cruise, we have grown to enjoy the specialty dining restaurants. And depending on the size of the ship, sometimes we don't make it to the buffets. However, I remembered and I wanted to go and tour the buffet just to give you guys a little insight as to what the Windjammer was actually like. Yes, we did eat in the Windjammer a few times on this sailing and the food was actually good. Uh, I'm not always as comfortable pulling out the camera around people when they're, you know, eating or getting food. However, I did manage to get some footage of the Windjammer Buffet. My only critique of the Windjammer is that small space that they use for everybody to come in. I think there should be, a, you know, larger doors. I don't know. Maybe it's kind of like COVID control. But uh, if you could remember, I think I put some footage up where they are pretty good about encouraging all guests to wash their hands upon entering the buffet area so uh yeah i hope this gives you some good insight as to what the food is like in the buffet first buffet plate we're in the windjammer and there are so many options I just couldn't uh, video it but I have a cheddar biscuit ribs I kept the, the uh, Italian thing going with some blocks of cheese and I made my own little dish of pasta because I didn't get to get any Nick did get his salad he had some wings and some seared steak Everything is delicious and I'll let you guys know just how it tastes. There are so many options though. Later on that evening, we uh, decided to go and see the ice skating show. Let me just say that ice skaters are absolutely amazing. Um, it, they had a lot of energy, uh, very skilled. There was one particular <laughs> skater and he was just, he had so much energy. He kept it, kept the crowd on our toes and uh, we just had a really good time. So it was a mixture of comedy and ice skating. So we couldn't quite always get the theme of the show but there was a variety of music they seem to really enjoy what they're doing so that always make for a great performance and they encouraged a lot of crowd interaction so yes we really enjoyed the ice skating show ended the perfect boarding day on our Central Park balcony. Like I said, the Central Park balcony, it just turned out to be my favorite part of the ship. Uh, the ambiance is just perfect. It's very peaceful. There is jazz in the evenings, but that just only helps us because we do enjoy jazz. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. This is the first video in our series of our first Oasis class sailing on the beautiful allure of the seas. Don't forget to hit that like button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified of our next video. See you next time.